Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is what's in it for you. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Today, I have a message for the one who has never consciously taken advantage of what Jesus did on the cross and accepted him as savior. I also have a message for the believer. So please stay with me if you fall into one of these two categories. To the one who is not a Christ follower and has never accepted Jesus, I beg you to please reconsider this morning. You may ask why, what's the big deal? What's in it for me? Let me answer that question in part this morning. Aside from the fact that you will secure your eternity by accepting and declaring Jesus as Lord and Savior, there are so many other benefits to accompany salvation. Today's anchor scripture shows us one. That scripture says in essence that upon salvation, you are immediately translated into a realm of spiritual possibility that forces all situations and circumstances to work for your good, irrespective of whether the circumstances are pleasant or not. I have very many examples that I can give you, but let me just stick to one from the Bible. A young man called Joseph was greatly envied by his brothers because he was gifted and obviously favored by God. Their envy caused his brothers to sell him to slavery. He suffered a lot of things while in slavery, but in that captivity, he came in contact with a problem that caused him to become the prime minister of one of the largest nations on earth at the time. Could God have made him a prime minister without going through the slavery experience? Absolutely. But because our God is a master at making the enemy's plans work for the good of his people, he let Satan think he was winning and then pulled his master stroke. Joseph learned things in that prison, built his character and also came out as, as, as prime minister. Once you become saved, you come into this category of people who no matter what happens to them on this earth, it will work for their good. And for the believer, please be reminded of this reality. It does not matter what the enemy has thrown at you. If you genuinely love God and are genuinely saved, those contrary situations will work together for your good. God's manifold wisdom is such that he can cause light to come from any situation, no matter how dark. You can afford to laugh in that situation because guess what? It must work for your good. And to the one listening who desires to join this company of people who evil can never triumph over, please say this prayer with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for today. Today, I repent of my sin and I accept Jesus' finished work of the cross. I believe that Jesus died for my sin and that God raised him up on the third day. I believe and confess that Jesus is now my Lord and Savior to the glory of God. I am now born again. Take all the glory, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon if you were blessed, or if you just prayed that prayer, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's Word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.